My name is Seti and welcome back to another video on our channel. In today's video, we're going to be looking at how you as a teacher can provide learning experiences at home for your students, even when the school is faced with a closure. So let's just dive straight into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. Now we're going to look at a couple of things, but this is going to be a beginner's guide to teaching from home. So we're going to look at some very basics. So by all means, share this with all your colleagues and other teachers that you know, because this is going to enable them to start teaching from home and start sharing their content with their students. Now the first thing you're going to need is our Chrome browser. Now before you start worrying about recording everything and there is an extension that we're going to install and this extension is called Screencastify. Now Screencastify has recently upgraded their program and so there's no more watermarks and it's very easy to share this recording with your students. Now the first thing you need to do is go onto Google and just search for Screencastify Chrome extension. Now once you have that extension there what you're going to do next now is install it. Now once everything's installed you'll see it is at the top right of your browser and we're going to click it for the very first time. Now if this is the very first time that you're opening up the extension you will see there are three steps we have to take. Now the first step is to link it with our Google Drive. Now it's going to ask you for some permissions and the reason it does this is so that it can record all the files to your Google Drive. So if it asks to read or write to your files don't worry about this it's basically going to help you in storing that file. So it gets rid of the step of downloading a video first and then uploading it to your Google Drive. It goes straight to your Google Drive and that's where the file will live. So go ahead and give it permission. Okay, now that this is done, we have to give it additional permissions. Now these are browser permissions. So in order for us to be able to record our webcam or even record a narration, we have to give it access to our cam and microphone. So this is the second big step. So go ahead and do this. You'll see as soon as you click this button, a box pops up, just give it access and then we are good to go. And then step three, hooray, we finished. And this is all you have to do to get Screencastify ready. Now let's make our very first recording. We're going to open up a Google Slides and let's say that this is my lesson. Now I'm going to narrate over this lesson and record that so I can share this video with my students. Now one note, Screencastify allows you to record videos up to five minutes. Now this should be plenty, we don't want hour long videos. So really what we want is we want five minutes start off the lesson and then have our students answering questions, asking questions, doing follow-up research, etc. So let's go ahead and record these first five minutes. I'm going to quickly record this demo right here. You can see it's happening in the background. Now once you've got that video, you're in the editor. Now what we can do with Screencastify is we can crop out the beginning and end just to make it a bit tighter. And then you'll see on the right hand side we have a number of options. Now these are sharing options. Now it's already uploaded everything into my Google Drive so that means I can get the shared URL and share this with my students. Now I can also follow up this recording of this lesson by sharing it into a Google Classroom and then asking them some questions there. Now all of this will enable you to record lessons, share it with your students and have that follow-up conversation online. So if you are faced with a school closure, this is the perfect way to continue that learning at home. Now let's say you want to take it just a step further and you want to use a video, could be a video you've just recorded, and you want to build those questions into your video. Well then there's another platform called Edpuzzle. Now Edpuzzle can be used to force pause a video and even ask some questions within that video. Now before you leave Screencastify, make sure that you do decide where do you want to host. you want to download that file? Well then select download the file and keep it as a hard file or you can host it on YouTube and then it's public. So what I'm going to select is to download this file but I'm also going to upload it to YouTube so I can demonstrate both ways. Now once I've got that file, in my next application I can now bring this file in and turn it into an interactive lesson. So open up a brand new tab and we're going to look for Edpuzzle. Now Edpuzzle, again links will be in the description below, allows you to add questions and additional information on top of that video. So go ahead and sign up for a free account, make sure you select that you're a teacher so you have access to all the teacher tools and then on the left hand side you'll find my content. Now what I want to do is I want to create a new lesson so go ahead and add my content and then click on create new content. Two options here, 
you can either upload that file that we've just downloaded and recorded by ourselves using Screencastify, or we find a video already on YouTube. This could be our own video that we've uploaded, or this could be a video uploaded by other creators or already on YouTube that we want to use in our lesson. So go ahead and either upload a file or search for a YouTube video. Once you've done that, we're ready for the next step. Once the file has been uploaded, I'm going to click on it and this brings me to the preview window. Here I can share the video, but before you share it, I would like to add some questions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that edit button. This is going to allow me to edit the file. I can crop the file, but I can also add things to this. So at the top, you'll see some of the options. We can add a voiceover, we can add audio notes and quizzes. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to select the point in the video where I would like to ask a question to my students. I'm going to add a quiz. Now, once you've clicked on add a quiz, you'll see that on that timeline below, there is now a little indication that there is a quiz right there. Now, in order for you to edit the questions and add your own questions, you have to click on that. So let's click on that green question mark right now. And on the right hand side, we now see the three options. We have an open ended question where we can ask an open ended question and then the students respond with a paragraph. We also have the second option, which is going to be a multiple choice question. So they have to click on the correct answer and we've already predetermined which one will be correct. And then the final one is where we add a visual comment. So I would highly recommend that you play around and just explore these three options. And then once you're happy with everything, what you're going to do is click on finish. Now in this next menu, you can add a start date and an assigned date, so a due date when it has to be finished, but you can also assign it to a class. Now these classes can be imported from Google Classroom. So if you're already using Google Classroom, great. It'll make it super easy for you to start using Edpuzzle. Now let's say that you're not really using Google Classroom and you don't really mind sharing the link another way. Well, then you can also go to the public option. That public option will give you a link to the Edpuzzle live in action with all your questions already embedded onto that file. So it's a great way for students to not only view you as a teacher presenting some new information or maybe discuss some different topics, but also get follow-up questions, open-ended questions, and you are given access to all that data in the back end. This was the second tip that is going to enable you to not only bring your learning home to your students, but also allow you to continue working even when schools are shut. And that brings us to the third tip. And this third one is insert learning. Now the way insert learning works is by installing an extension in your Chrome browser and then whenever you're surfing the internet and you see a website that you'd like to use as a lesson for your students, click on that insert learning button at the top. This is going to give you a number of different options and these options allow you to turn that website into a lesson. So let's do that right now. I'm going to find a website I quite like. Okay, I'm happy with this one and I'm going to now share this with my students. However, I want questions on the website. So what we're going to do is click on that insert learning button. Now, once you click on that extension, you're going to be asked to log into your Google account so everything can be synced and saved. And then you get some options down the side. Now, the first one is to highlight text. So you can highlight paragraphs or parts of that text that you would like to highlight to your students. And the next thing is where you can add your own notes or edit information. And then finally, we also have some start a discussion and add some questions. Now that's the one I'm going to show you today. So I'm going to click on ask a question. Now here I'm going to ask a follow up question about what we've just read in this paragraph. Now here we can choose a question stem. So what do we want the students to do? And then also type our question. Once you've saved this, it's ready to be shared with your students. So on the left hand side, you're going to find insert learning and we're going to assign this to our students. And just as with the other applications I've shown you today, you can assign it to your Google Classroom or you can use a link and share it that way. Now your students will get access to this. They will see the website as it is and they will also see your additional content within that website. This is an amazing tool so you can really use all that great content already available on the internet and then share it with your students and turn it into a lesson. Now I hope you found this helpful. We've looked at three tools today that you can use to really upgrade your lessons, start teaching from home and even flip that classroom. So we're going to be introducing some blended learning. Now, I hope you're not just going to use this for when there's a school closure, experiment with it while the schools are still open. And by all means, share it, share out this video to colleagues that might be interested, or maybe there's a colleague and they've asked you a question about, oh, I wonder how I can do this at home. Well, this video could be the answer to their question. 
Now we've looked at three tools today and just to summarize, we've looked at Screencastify. It's going to allow you to record your own screencasts, your own videos. You can use your webcam, audio, slideshows, anything for up to five minutes and then upload it to your Google Drive or YouTube. We've looked at Edpuzzle, which allows you to take any video, your own or a video already on YouTube and add questions, make it interactive. And then the third one is our friend Insert Learning that we've just looked at. And this is going to make any website interactive. So what you do with Edpuzzle on videos, you can do with Insert Learning to websites. Now, I hope you found this helpful. Scroll down into that description below, find all those links and then keep scrolling to the comment section and let me know which of these three is your favorite. What other tools do you enjoy using to have a blended learning environment and maybe you have been faced with a school closure what has been your number one takeaway from that experience i'd love to hear it in that comment section below on your way back up make sure to subscribe to the channel hit the bell notification so you're notified of future videos and i will see you in the next one thank you for watching